Recording in progress. Okay, so here I am going to present you the PowerPoint presentation of the next chapter in plant physiology, that is the photomorphogenesis. This chapter is very important with respect to understanding about the response of plant towards the light. So here, first of all, we should talk about syllabus, whatever syllabus is prescribed. With respect to syllabus, we have to uh, find our way. So photomorphogenesis, red and far red light is response on photomorphogenesis and phytochrome discovery and mode of action of phytochrome. So three lectures are allocated. One lecture will be sufficient to understand at graduation level. So first of all, what do you mean by morphogenesis? Because it comes under photomorphogenesis. First of all, you have to understand what is morphogenesis. So morphogenesis is referring to biological process where organism develops shapes and forms. So shapes and forms are developed by organisms comes under morphogenesis. Morphogenesis where cells shows proliferation. That means number of cell increases. Cell literally shows movement from one location to other location up to some extent in plants. That is migration and differentiation. That means a particular cell perform particular function. That is a destination of that cell to perform that function is differentiation. All these processes comes together to create shape and form in that organism. For example, formation of leaf, formation of root, formation of flower. That is a morphogenesis. That means in simple word, you can say morphological shape appearance comes in morphogenesis. So question arises, what is photomorphogenesis? One can easily determine the meaning of photomorphogenesis that this light response, I would I'd like to highlight here, light response on morphogenesis. So because of light, morphological changes happens in that plant will become under more photomorphogenesis. So it is light mediated development in plants where photomorphogenesis is the process by which plant respond to light and regulate their growth and development accordingly. But I would like to mention here that should not mix with photophysiology. In previous chapter, we have studied that plant give response to light. When plant give response to light, it come under photophysiology. But it regulate only physiology. Here we are saying that because of light, developmental changes are visible, which is something more deep into the context. So photomorphogenesis, what do you mean by photomorphogenesis? Here is primary source sun. Because of the radiation from sun, here several changes are visible in this plant. That is photomorphogenesis. And uh, as per the syllabus, they have given photomorphogenesis in response to red and far red light. So red and far red light effect on photomorphogenesis. To understand this, you have to understand what is what do you mean by red and far red light. If this is your visible spectrum. In previous chapter, we have discussed deeply about the, what is spectrum. But here you can notice that blue to red are the visible spectrum portion, which are detected by eye. Eye picture is given here. Here you can notice that the blue light has 400 nanometer spectrum and red light has 600. And this is something deep dark red that is 700 nanometer spectrum. So first of all, you have to make differentiation between red and far red light. Red light is something here. It is reddish in color. And far red light is here, blackish in color. Red light and far red light are can be distinguishable on the basis of their intensity. Far red light is something more darkish red, which is something black. And wavelength of far red light is around close to the 700 nanometer and red light wavelength is close to 600 nanometer. This is the difference between red and far red light. So in previous chapter, we have discussed that the elements in plant who give response to blue light, in which we have seen phototropins, we have seen zeaxanthin, we have seen cryptochrome, who give response to blue light. In this chapter, we are supposed to understand who give response to red and far red light. So the element who give response to red and far red light is phytochrome. Phytochrome is also pigment, likewise cryptochrome, phototropin, and zeaxanthin. So phytochrome look like this, where phytochrome appears in two alternative forms, you can see. Alternative form means what? Phytochrome is one, but it is either in active form or inactive form. So phytochrome is in PR form, 
and phytochrome in PFR form. You have to understand, PR form is inactive form of phytochrome and PFR form is active form of phytochrome. So this PR form, which is inactive, when light is illuminated on this PR form, it is going to be converted into active form of phytochrome. So this is initially present by the red light, it is going to be activated and come into this condition. Once the active form of phytochrome develops, it gives responses such as germination, flowering and branching. This happens in daytime. But what happens in dark time? Far red light comes into the picture. And when this active form of phytochrome is present and far red light is bombarding upon this active form of phytochrome, it gets converted into inactive form of phytochrome. And you will find there is no response, physiological response. So you can say red light is helpful for physiological response. Far red light is not helpful for physiological response. This is something regulation. So here is photograph here, you can notice that the inactive form of phytochrome is converted into active form of phytochrome, where you can have responses after that. So P660, 65 is a PR form of phytochrome. P725 is PFR form of phytochrome. Here, whatever we have discussed, just mentioned in picture. So this is happening in daytime, this is happening in nighttime. Be sure that you make difference between a red and far red light and two alternative forms of phytochrome. So next part of phytochrome, that is detailed information of phytochrome, I would like to give that PR form of phytochrome is synthesized by plant and is, which is very stable. Whereas this PFR form is a not stable form of phytochrome. Remember, phytochrome appear in PR and PFR form. PR form is already present. By the red light, it is converted into PFR form. And after formation of PFR form, you have physiological functions. But which happen in daytime. In nighttime, because of far red light, it again converted into PR form. So the high concentration uh, uh, of this phytochrome is found in meristematic tissues of plant. Okay. So we would like to find some information about discovery of this phytochrome. The phytochrome discovery begins in 1950. So this study conducted by many scientists in 1950s, 1960s, 1970s studies has been conducted. Exam point of view, you can write points that in 1950s, several scientists discovered that plants require both red and far red light for proper growth and development. So initially it was just observation by scientists that they have concluded that red and far red light both are responsible for development. In 1960s, some scientists, the names are given here, have discovered that they found that exposing plant to the red light induces growth in that plant, but exposing plant to the far red light inhibits the growth. What does it mean? It means it is clear that the exposing to the red light, PR form is converted into PFR form, and that's why we have various biological functions. Okay. So exposing okay. So they have coined the term 660 and P730 to the alternative form of phytochrome. Don't get confused with na this name 616 730. P660 means PR form, P730 means PFR form. In 1970, the more study came forward and gives more insight into phytochrome. They discovered that phytochrome exhibit into alternative form. PR form and PFR form. PR form, which is inactive form and red light absorbing form. PFR form is active form and which is red, far red light absorbing form. Okay. So now we have reached up to the last point of the chapter that is mode of action of phytochrome. How phytochrome shows their action. First, they show the absorption of light. After absorption of light, they convert into active form. So we have already seen that after red light illumination, PR form converted into PFR form, that is active form of phytochrome. Once it is get activated, signal transduction takes place. So what do you mean by signal transduction? So signal transduction means PFR form of phytochrome acts as molecular switch, which initiate signaling cascade. So in previous lecture, we have discussed about cascade. I would like to ask you, watch that video of blue light response on stomatal opening. Okay, so signal transduction, which means gives responses such as a gene expression response, activation of cellular intermediate response and physiological responses. All these responses comes under the mode of action of phytochrome, which are happening due to the P 
PR form adsorption red light and converted into PFR form. All these responses are due to PFR form. Don't forget this. So gene expression, the first response was gene expression. Here, PR form conversion to PFR form. Directly, you can see the transcription factors are activated and gene expression takes place. Activation of cell door intermediate where you can notice that when light is falling on PR form, it is converted into PFR form where they are activating secondary messengers and channels and which leads to the cellular responses. Where physiological responses already we have discussed that PFR form are responsible for germination of seed, deativulation, flowering, branching, leaf expansion, chloroplast development, as well as senescence. So I would like to ask you Curie and let me know what difficulties you are facing so accordingly I can make videos. Thank you.